There is a very important piece of work on Broadway in 2024. It's Prayer for the French Republic. It's the story of a family grappling with anti-Semitism, both in present day and in the past. I caught up with one of the stars, Anthony Edwards. Well, let's talk about this. It's, a, it's so nice to be back on Broadway, right? It's always great to be in a theater. Talk a little bit about this play and this production. Why is this one special? You know, I started acting when I was 16, and it, if it's always been the same thing. It's about the writing. Like, when the writing's great, you're like, well, there's half my job done, or more. That's what it comes down to, the writing. It's like the Grand Canyon. You can't describe it. You just have to be in it to understand it, because it's not one thing. It's so many different things. When it's this kind of stuff, it's also fresh and new for audiences, and that's really nice. When you have topics, too, that are, are timeless topics or timely topics, and that's what we're talking about here, that's going to speak to an audience in a whole different way than it might have a few years ago. Yeah, look, I mean, anti-Semitism has been around for centuries and centuries, obviously, and so it's always going to speak or apply in a different way, just like any other crises of the human condition, which playwrights great playwrights from name them all mm -hmm. are always looking at right. they're they're looking at what are the personal conflict within the larger scheme of things i'm always fascinated by uh, by the writing as you said to to think about when it was written how it was written and then how it applies as you're sitting there in the audience yeah and it's fun to watch a, a writer like josh be like well i'm glad you got that from it like <laughs> he just keeps presenting truths we keep trying to interpret them and David Cromer takes them all and puts it into this theater here. I know you were on Broadway uh, previously, but you have some things that have happened uh, in between there because it's not just uh, Broadway, you're not just on stage, it's TV, it's film. Yeah, well, you know, I'm 61 years old and I started working when I was 16 and over these last 40 odd years, I've just really had this incredible thing that I didn't know was going to happen is that I started as an actor because I loved theater and that was the place. It was Santa Barbara was just full of theater and mm -hmm. full of, mm -hmm. of, of, and so I fell in love with it that way. But then I had this career in television and film and now to be in this situation where it's all back to that original which is really trust and in, in, in being with actors where you, you trust, you have to find trust. And, and that's exciting because you're not relying on an editor right. or, a, you know, or and, another take. Right. And also that thing that I think audiences always forget is that we, every actor on stage feels exactly what's going on in that theater. And audiences think they're anonymous and they're just watching in it like they're the movie or something where it's nothing they're going to do. But it is actually this alive thing. So. Here we are. I mean, it's 2024 and theater still matters. We do need it. We and I also think to... it's because why so many people come back to it. Like you said, you do films, you do TV, right. but you always come back to the stage. And we get it in other ways. You see it like whatever. Taylor Swift, this phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Those people had an experience together in that thing. And that's mm -hmm. what we want. We want the music, the feel of love. or the, My favorite quote was Penn and Teller where, you know, at the end of the show, they used to say, when you go home tonight, it's not, you know, how we do these tricks. Yeah. It's, that's not what's important. It's why, oh, you know, right. and that always They're stuck great. with me like, all oh, right, I need this. I need to be You're right. stirred. You're really right. And feel like, oh. No, no, ma'am, this is not a good idea. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. You played a role years and years ago that is, was gone and done but has always, I have to imagine, stayed with you, mm. of Goose. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah. You know, the, the new one came out, but Goose was always remembered through all these years, mm -hmm. the significance and the importance of that role. Yeah, well, I, you know, it was a, I was in the right place at the right time with a director who wanted me to do that role when uh, the studio wanted a comedian. It was like, they gotta get a comedian there because it's gotta be this funny thing. And it was like, a director said, no, he's gotta be, we gotta believe that this is this guy's best friend. And when you're gonna take a hero and have him go through something, you gotta believe that 
love. You got to believe that friendship. And so, you know, it was a you know a lot of smoke and mirrors and, and airplanes. But at the core of it, you know, people can relate to that. And so you feel you know that's where you go like, wow, well, I'm glad. I'm happy for that. I'm happy that. Yeah. Those that, things matter. Yeah, and that's what we we do all this for is so that we can stay in people's hearts and minds the way other performances stay in mind.